Pete Gearminen, really nice application here on the Grob. Can you tell us a little more? Certainly, yeah. Again, we're here doing a demo at uh, CIS at the PPC Centre. And this particular application was to cut some, uh, to cut a gear, uh, 220 millimetres in diameter, 42 teeth in E30B. Okay. And we achieved that with our indexable gear milling. Okay. And the indexable gear milling isn't a hob as people would like to think it is. It's exactly what it says. It's an indexable tool. Okay. We take the profile or the mod and we do mods from 0.5 to 8. Okay. And we put that into an indexable shell mill or uh, a welding shank tool or something like that. Okay. So it's this face that you use almost like a side and face tool where you just, you just run it up the side. Pretty much, yeah, but the advantage that you've got with it is where with a hob, once you've set it off running, the kinetics kick in and it does its own thing. With this particular uh, tool, you've got more control over the tool, okay? It also gives you at least a 50% reduction in cycle times and coming out at usually about 50% of the cost. A lot of that down to the chip thinning process. Pretty much so, yeah. I mean, what we tend to do is... On the harder materials, we may go for uh, two cycles, but on something like this, which is a nice cut-to-cut -cut material, we just did it in one hit, and uh, the, surf, the uh, cut depth was about 4.4 millimetres. Yeah, it, it, and it, the data is good, isn't it? What, what is the cutting data? Cutting data is very, very good, yeah. I mean, for this particular gear, we was running at about 660 RPM and at a feed rate of about 727. And obviously the benefits of an indexable cutter in terms of the economy are good. So how many, edge, how many edges on, the, on your inserts? This particular, it's a five fluted cutter is this particular cutter. And there's just one cutting edge on this particular one. The final operation we've just seen is putting the threads into the face of the component. And I noticed there's a, a competitor's thread mill against your high feed thread mill. What, what are the advantages? Our high feed thread mill, this is the multi-float thread mill that was introduced just recently by uh, Vargas and it's uh, exactly what it says it's a multi-flute thread mill up to seven flutes and that gives us the advantage of higher speeds but not only higher speeds higher feeds as well due to the amount of passes that we'll take okay so on something like this that we did which was M10 we're looking at possibly up to 40 50 percent saving in cycle terms and how's that achieved? Is the RPM the same and just the feed rate's more? Because presumably you've just got more teeth and so more feed rate. Yeah, we, we were looking at probably take it as opposed to taking one pass with a standard thread mill, we'll take five passes and that then will generate feed rates from around 600 for the first pass up to maybe say 1270 for the final pass in this particular application. So when you're looking to thread mill, would that be your, obviously you start standard thread mills too. Would this always be your go-to tool or is there an argument to use a standard thread mill sometimes? Not necessarily the go-to tool but it, it complements our range very very well to the fact that this is an excellent tool when you machine in very very hard to machine materials okay because you've got a lot more control over the chip thickness now of what we're machining and it gives better tool life and of course there's the advantage with thread milling we've got total control over the thread. So in terms of your gear milling, what gears can be produced and what other gear milling tools are in the range? Okay, well we can do straight cut gears, splines, any splines and racks as well. So that mm -hmm. covers the full range of that. And then also with that within the tools, we start off from different diameters to the different mods required. Uh, these are now becoming a lot more common for us, so we do have some on the shelf. Otherwise, it was something where we'd get a quote back to you within 24 hours and then we would quote accordingly from that. And in terms of Argus, you're not just a threading company, are you? We're not, no, now. We're, we're very, very well known in the market for threading, but we also do our grooving products, uh, the microscope. We do the gear milling now as well. We also do the Chevive and we also have the Silmax products as well now. So how do people find out more about gear milling or any of the Vargas tooling products? Okay, to find out anything about any of our products that you've seen or anything that you would be interested in, just look us up on the Vargas UK website and, or give us a call.